Hi everyone, today we are on site for a major solar upgrade and this one is a big transformation. Before we get started, our team leader is going to walk you through the old setup the client was using. So right here, you can see the previous system, a 10 kVA inverter paired with 8 220 amps tubular batteries. It served the client for a while, but with increased energy demand, it just wasn't delivering the efficiency and backup time they needed. And based on the client's preference for stronger, longer lasting power, we are stepping things up in a major way, upgrading to a 12 kilowatt inverter and replacing the old battery bank with a single powerful 15 kilowatt hours lithium battery. This upgrade is going to give them better performance, faster charging, cleaner installation, and way more reliability. Let's get right into it and show you how this transformation begins. and corrosion that has already been undergoing on it even the battery racks can you see why because uh, when it rains sometimes rain it drifts to the side and then you know splashes on the system so in fact the spark of water has even affected the system so uh, we decided that this time around we are not installing this outside here so though now we now have a better system whereby we can even install outside you know if you are using a system that comes with ip66 or ip65 protocol get waterproof systems and all that so but he said i don't want it outside and then uh, let's do this inside all right moving on it's time to bring in the real stars of this upgrade here we are offloading all the materials we'll be using for today's installation everything from the new 12 kilowatt inverter down to the accessories needed to rebuild the system from scratch now let's talk about the big one the lithium battery for this project, we are using a premium Seawatt Energy 15 kilowatt lithium battery, known for its efficiency, durability, and clean performance. So we went ahead and unboxed this beauty, and trust, and trust me, the excitement was real. But here is the funny part: even though lithium batteries are more compact, these ones still had four of our guys acting like they were lifting a car engine. Nobody wanted to be the one who dropped the power of the house. After the unboxing, the battery was carefully moved to the installation point, making sure every step was safe and precise because this is the art of the entire system. Now everything is in place and it's time to begin the real setup. Now moving on to the next thing, setting up the pathway for a clean and professional installation. Here the team start by drilling the wall to create the perfect layout for our cable route. Once the drilling is done, we begin installing the trucking pipes. These are what keeps all the wires neatly arranged, protected and organized. No scattered cables, no rough edges, just a clean professional finish that gives the entire sector a premium look. With the trunking fixed to the wall, we are ready to move into cable placement and equipment mounting. Let's keep going. Alright, next up, it's time to bring out the energy of the entire upgrade. Here we move straight into unboxing the inverter unit. For this installation, we are using two 6 kW seawatt energy inverters and this will be connected in parallel. That means both inverters communicate and work together as one solid powerhouse, giving the client a full 12 kW inverter system. The unboxing was smooth and you can already tell the build quality is premium. Every component is designed for efficiency, durability, and clean power delivery. With both inverters out and ready, the team prepared them for mounting, ensuring the parallel com configuration is perfectly aligned for seamless communication. Now that the art of the system is here, it's time to set everything into place and bring this upgrade to life. Now it's time for the art of the setup. Mounting the inverters and connecting the entire system. 
With the trunking already in place, the team begins the positioning of the 6 kW seawater energy inverters on the wall. These units will work in parallel, communicating seamlessly to deliver a foot of kilowatt of clean and stable power. Once the mounting bracket are secured, the inverters are lifted and locked into position. position. And from here, the wiring magic begins. DC connections, AC outputs, communication cables, and safety components. Everything is arranged neatly to ensure maximum efficiency and zero clutter. Every cable is measured and stripped, connected and tightened with precision because when it comes to power system, clean wiring isn't just about aesthetic, it's about safety, reliability and long-term performance. With the inverters mounted and the wiring neatly routed, the system is really starting to take shape. Our team leader is here to explain the process as the work us through. You can see how precise every connection needs to be from linking the two 6 kW seawater energy inverter in parallel to ensure they communicate seamlessly to connecting the lithium batteries and the load circuit. This is my master. This will be my master. This will be my sleeve. And we have a protection box here. We have a PV1 for my master. Uh, PV inverters and then a new inverter. Then we have PV2 also for this. Then we have our DC sort for each or one of them. Then we have our input breaker here. Uh, the uh, line coming from the bridge goes into this input breaker. Then from there to our voltage protector to protect against high voltage, low voltage, and uh, short circuits, over current, and all that. Then we have our output voltage protector and our this is such, yeah, to protect for protection and that. So, I want to put, I want to power up the system now. So, let's come with me as good as So, I, there's one thing I love is about Seawalk. Sorry, uh, Seawalk comes with a, a battery MCB. We have our MCB here. So, I'll be powering up. It has also, it has a, a main power switch. So, then let's. So I'm, I'm power up the system. So as I power it up, it should come up here. Okay, so it's up now. So the battery comes with a 43 percent battery charge. So I'll be putting on the MCCB now. So MCB is on. MCB is on. So now let me put on. For what we have up there, uh, before we have uh, 16 panels. Uh, we have one set of 16 panels, then we have another set of 300 watt panels, 8 pieces. So we channel one, the 16 panels on one strings and then the other on the other strings. So I'll be putting on the first one. Yeah, I think the system is on. So let me wait for this to come up fully. So I'm just only putting on the solar break, I've not put on the main switch. So yeah, it's a senses. It's sensing solar and then put on the second one also, it should come up also. So, um, let's give it a bit of time. So, um, if I check the information on this, we should get fancy now. So, yeah, we have a PV voltage of 244 40 something volts. Uh, let's see the charging, it's currently now charging. Though the time is around, uh, what's the time over there now? I think. Past five years about okay, so but I think the sun is already down, so I think it's doing well. Let's check this two also. Okay, yeah, we're having 150, it's also green. Let's see the current up, it's also charging like almost the same, almost the same thing. Yeah. So I think now what we'll be doing next is our configuration battery, uh, the settings, the general settings on the system. So here now I have to set my the first inverter here as my master. This will go as my slave, and then do other settings. Then I have to also set that. You no, know, since I'm using the same brand of system now, silver battery, silver inverter, and I've uh, connected my communication cable to the BMS to the current port here. I'll be setting my battery here on both of them as uh, actually whatever setting I do here. Once I make the system to come uh, uh, uh. once I do the settings to be 
parallel configuration, whatever settings I do here comes here automatically. So, so we want to start the settings now. So I want to start with this. So press my enter button. I press it down for some seconds. Now we are on the settings. So we might start with the first one. Our first one says uh, uh, so output source priority. Output source priority. So default is USB. Uh, sorry. Let me start again, sorry. So output source priority, default is USB. USB means uh, utility provides power to the load as first priority and PV and battery will provide as well. So what I like using is uh, SUB. SUB. SUB means uh, SUB means solar energy provides power to the load as first priority and load. We get it going now. So I'm changing this to SUB. So now we are on SUB, so I save it. So then I move to the next one. The next one says uh, that is a maximum charging current. Charging current to configure to that charge. This is total charging current now. So since I'm having two systems here, here now, so let me do 60 amps here, 60 amps here, you get. But let's put it to 80 amps maximum. 80 amps maximum. So the next one here is uh, AC input voltage range. Uh, APL, which is default that came with the system, means it can sell, it can take in input range of 90 to 280. But I don't like 90 to 280 because uh, 90 is too small. It could damage the system. You get it. You get the point now. So I like using 170 to 280. Sorry, the settings. Once you are setting mode, and then you didn't answer the system, it's takes it away but whatever setting you've done before will be there can say that what we what would you say was SUV before now SUV is bad thing 80 amps again so now I'm choosing U P S U P S means it can take in AC input between the range of 170 to 280 to me that's safe now I'll be doing my settings on my body plate or two also based on that so the next one is uh 04 04 means uh output mode this which means if you are parallel or, or that so I'm going to enter, change it to parallel. That's power. So and then I, I save that. Then uh, I change this is my battery type now. Since you are using a lithium battery, I change to lithium. Yeah. So that's that. And I think that was all. That should be all. This is this. Okay, I like for my output voltage, I like using uh, 220. So that's let's go. Uh, this is um settings eleven. Settings eleven means mass motivity charge. Okay. I like uh, using uh, twenty amps because of prepaid meter. So if it is starting with twenty, it is starting twenty. That's making uh, forty amps. I think that's cool. Uh, then the next is uh, setting twelve. I think I leave these ones the way they are. Leave them the way they are. Then uh, for 16, charging source, I like to use CSO. CSO is the best to use. Uh, CSO means... Uh, CSO. CSO means uh, solar energy will charge the battery as first priority, the utility charges. So this is the best, so that whenever they breathe, solar starts charging. That it will save your energy. I mean, on the grid now, you get the point. So, uh, alarm control, you leave it on default. Uh, this one to default, 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 default. I think this one will be the way they are since we are already using communication cables since the battery will be communicating. Those ones will be the way they are. So, what again? I think that is all. That's all. Let's save. Okay. So now you will see that uh, you will see that uh, it's already showing lithium BMS here. So which means our battery is already communicating. So let me change settings for on the order here. This is already my you can see showing me HS. It means that this is my master. So let me do settings for here also. 
so so that everything can yeah uh, so now you can see this has changed to SL SL which means this is my master HS and then this is my slave okay let me do the battery so both of them should be I'm coming I want to confirm that whatever settings I've done here is also happening here I think that's that can you see now one it says to be this is 18 hours can you see this UPS can you see so I think is conf okay let me change my battery now my battery should be lithium I really be lithium Okay, so I think we're good to go. So let's put on the system and see. So the way the way parallel system works is you put on the master first, then you put on the slave, followed by the slave. So it's supply nice. Nice supplying. Yeah, supply now. Now you can see that the voting potato that we used. For our heart with nice up. And this is up. So nice. Supply. It's up. System is up. So which means we can load the house now. We're currently, we're currently on grid now. So we'll be feeding the house now and then we're loading the house. Now comes the moment of truth, testing the upgraded system. The team carefully power up the inverters and the seawater energy lithium battery. Every connection we made earlier is double checked to ensure safety and efficiency. We monitor the output, check the load response and make sure the two 6 kW inverters running in parallel are communicating perfectly to deliver the full 12 kW capacity. Once the numbers are right and the system is stable, is a satisfying moment. All that hard work, planning and precision comes together. The client now has a clean, reliable and high-performance energy system ready to handle their power needs without compromise. If you are looking to upgrade your energy system, remember that we at Axon Electronics Technologies Limited have you covered. From consultation to installation and aftercare, we deliver quality you can trust. Don't forget to follow our social handles for more behind the scenes content, tips, and updates on solar energy solutions. Hit that follow button and join our energy revolution.